Hello there everybody, this is your host Nomadi Junction, welcoming you back for another episode of Building the Olympic slash Titanic. And today we'll be focusing on the officers' quarters. Uh, but I'd like to welcome to all my new subscribers who have joined my channel. It does mean a lot to me that you are joining me on this journey as we build some more. So I hope you're all well, taking care of yourselves. And uh, well, I just enjoy what you're doing. Okay. Right, so let's make a start, folks. So we're going to be, like I say, we have completing the entire boat there so hopefully all your bills are up to this up to this uh, put from now on so what you need is you need to light grey concrete come to the bottom here from this corner and it's the same for the other side as well and you need to basically fill come towards the centre of the ship up to frame of 40 now I have laid some signposts as well so we don't get a little confused but you need to go all the way up to 40 which I've already laid a block down there for you because it helps me on this video okay so let me pull this straight, pull this back towards the centre of the ship as I work on the port side here. There we go, and it's the same for the other side as well. So remember, it's up to frame 40. I mean, I, I'm going off the frames because I can't count all these blocks individually. It'll take me forever. <laughs> and I think you'll get bored of me going one, two, three, four, five, six like that all the time, especially when I was doing it on the uh, the hole on the previous video. So I'm trying to speed things up along for your entertainment. But like I say, as I say before, folks, if you want to use the build for any downloadable projects, go straight ahead. I don't mind at all. But I say, all I ask for is a little bit of uh, credit. Just give me a mention or a link to my YouTube channel. That's all I ask for. Okay. All right. So it should look like that now. So what you need to do now is head towards this center now. Just pull it across with light gray concrete. As I say, this is the officer's quarters, which by no means needs explaining. It's basically it's where the captain, the chief officer, officers one to five, or sorry, six or six uh, junior officers uh, slept and there's always always the uh, Maconi room is that how you say it? Mac can't say it Macon I can't say it Mac Mac I was going to say macaroni it's not macaroni Marconi room <laughs> basically where the two wireless operators were allocated uh, there's also some extra bug bags quarters crew there was the captain's uh, sitting room and the captain's bedroom as well as well as the first funnel uh, case as well so let's get cracking on with that so after you've laid down the grey concrete now what you need is a block of quartz and you need to go we'll start from this corner here after you laid the one you need to go up eight high so that's one two three four five five six six seven eight followed by a dark oak plank block and ended with a slab right there so I'll do the same on the other side so it's a block of quartz so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's nine so far. Get the dark oak plank, dark oak plank blocks and a quartz, a quartz slab as well. So all you need to do now is get the block, blocks of quartz and pull it towards the center. There we go. Do, 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 do. And then get your dark oak planks and Head back the other way. There we go. Nearly there. Okay, and then get your slab, well, quartz slabs, and put them on top. There we go. I'm not going to do the other side just yet because obviously I'm going to do a jump cut. It's exactly the same procedure. The only thing is you don't, you just do the the left hand side, sorry, the port side and the starboard side, but you don't do the back wall. Because obviously this is the room that will lead to the grand staircase. So as I'm allocated here, this will be this grand staircase section, folks, which I'll do in another video. But that's one of the most exciting parts of the ship for me, the grand staircase. Okay, so after you've completed this, I'll also do a couple of rows already. Also, we need to fill this in, so let's bring this one up here, this one up here, and this one up here. Because the reason I'm asking you to do that is you need to get a grey concrete or any colour you like. Put it on the inside of the grey concrete. As you see here. Put it straight across. And I've also done this section as well. And it's the same for the other side. But I'll say I'll do it later. And after that. After you fill in the quartz slabs. So quartz blocks. So I'll do another row here. What I need you to do is get the pillar quartz blocks. On the inside. Go all the way up. 
but not onto the wooden, wooden block. So it's basically, you're going up one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight blocks high. And you need to basically go all the way around it like this. So I'm going to one like there. And then one like that. I'm going to say you must go upward with it, because obviously if you go across, it ends up like this. But that's not the style we want. It's basically show, it's like a cosmetic reason I'm doing this, because it's like the wooden wooden boards of the inside of the ship. Wooden, wooden paneling, which I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's, I mean, it would have been a lot bigger. But considering the size of the uh, the Minecraft scale, I think it'd be doing okay. It's not too bad. Okay, so like I say, you just need to continue on doing this all the way up to the end. So like I say, what I'll do now, folks, quick jump cut, and I'll do the other side as well. And then we'll be doing the windows and a doorway. Okay, be right back in a second. Right then, folks, so the officers' quarters and the deck should look something like this now. So I'm both completed on both sides. So what I'm going to do next, well, I'm doing the windows next. I'm going to do the layout in the centre. So what we need to do, we need to come on to the... Um, which side are we on? Which side? Oh, right side, yeah, starboard side. <laughs> come to the starboard side. There we go. And what you need to do is go up to frame 43, which is... 1, 2, 3. There, 43. Put a block down here and go out by 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. And then you need to pull this one straight across here. Followed by, basically you need to take it all the way up to, let me check my notes, frame number 64. So we're going straight across here to the frame number 64. There we go. Let's check where I am actually. Good point. 60, 61, 62, 63. I'll put a block there. 64. There we go. So I'll put that all over here. Oh, yep. Yeah, we went straight past it. 64. Now, we're going to do a corridor here. Now, I always do my corridors. Well, it was quite narrow in the officer's quarters. about three blocks wide. So that's one, two, three. So I'll put a block down here. And you need to basically pull this block all the way towards the bow of the ship. Well, towards the end of the wall. Here we go. And it goes there. Okay. So, so there's a little bit of crisscross there. So what we need to do now is basically we are going to close this wall. Put a block of three here. Well, what I'll do to make sure... I'll do a darker grey, in fact. Alright, uh, dark and grey like this to indicate there's going to be a doorway there. So that's one, two, three. Okay. So basically, on a frame number 64, pull it straight across. And you should, this will be the captain's sitting room. This whole room here. Captain's sitting room. So we need to go over to frame number, let me check my notes here, folks. Uh, Gotta get this right. Uh, right, so we'll get we'll do the captain's bedroom, his lavvy or latrine or you know lavatory, uh, bathroom basically, and obviously officer and the fourth officer's quarters was located here as well. So coming from this wall here, you need to go back to frame number sixty-one. So I'm gonna find frame number sixty-one, which is here. Okay, pull it right across. There you go. And also there is a, like a little doorway here. He had uh, put one there. And a doorway here as well. My doorways are always three blocks across. It's a rule of thumb I've stuck to. Three blocks across for a door. And okay. And the next one is about 58 and a half. And one, what I mean about 58 and a half is basically it's a three in the gap, so I go from the middle here. So the next one is about here, 50, 50, uh, 58 and a half, which is here. Uh, so I'll put a block down there, because that's the next door doorway. So let me check my notes. Oh, actually, so no, it's a wall. Okay. And what I'll do, I'll make notes of each, basically each one will do. So I'll put a block down here, or a signpost, should I say. And put it down there, and that is the captain's bed. 
bedroom. So we know what it is. And the next one, we put cat for short, captain's lavvy. I'll just put lavvy. Short for toilet, basically, bathroom. Okay. And this next room is the fourth officer's quarters. So I'll put that there. Fourth officer. Okay. Can't remember who he was. Okay. All right. So in this next section, we need to do up to frame number, let me find my notes, 56. So let me find frame 56. There it is. Put it straight across. Now here is where we're going to add a door. Okay. So you need to remove these three. Okay. And on the other side, we just need to close off. Now here is where the door is going to be. So what you need to do is take it, is remove these three centre ones here. Remove that, remove that, remove that. I mean, we'll have to do the same for the windows, the uh, not portals, the uh, portal windows, whatever you want to call them. Uh, when deck house, I think they were called officers' deck house windows. There you go. So that is located there. Now this next room. Here is the officer's smoke room, and that is framed from 55 to, to which I pronounce it 48, 49, 50 to 50. So it's quite an easy one. Let me just find it. Now we'll do a screenshot of the deck plans, which I'm going to be doing here. So you'll probably see on some section of the screen while I'm doing it. There we go. So that is the officer's smoke room. Okay. Officer uh, Smoke Smoke <laughs> Smoke Officer Smoke Room but Using the English terms when they want to go for a fag basically or maybe they a case of smart a cigar. Right, millionaire ship. Right, here we go. So this next one is up to up frame forty eight. Frame 48, and at this is what they call the pantry, officer's pantry, pantry, there we go, right, and the next one is, well the next three rooms are basically spare officer's rooms, okay, so it'll be quite easy to do. So what I'll do here, I'll start from the end. So I've already done one there, so I just need to finish it off here. Now this next one is 45 and a half. So basically the middle one here. Let's check I've got it right. 45 and a half, yes, there we go. And you just pull that right across, there you go. So that is basically all the rooms on the starboard side. So it should look like that. Okay, brilliant. Right onto the X side, the port side. Right. So what? Actually, what we'll do next, folks, we'll do the wheel, the wheelhouse pilot's room. Uh, the pilot was basically these person who steered the shaft, and they did it in shifts. Right. So 67, 68. We need to find frame number 68, which is right here. Put a block on each side and drag each side up to the captain's sitting room. So there's one section there, that's that. Okay, and the other side, let's check how long it is. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's 15 on each side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, there we go. And what we need to do now is we are going to, as I check my notes, is drag them, well, drag this side actually, to frame number 56. Okay, let's pull this right across, 56. Check where I'm going on the other side, that would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> Uh, 56, there we go. Now this is, a, we're going to make sure we get this 
right because this is actually the first funnel it's casing there we go done right and it's the same for the other side well we could just go from here because i do know it's the split for the corridor and just leave a gap of three so if you want me to count it i can so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen it's sixteen there because i've added an extra block there there we go so i'll just join that up there we go superb okay now we need to go from 56 to 55 now is this one across here this is basically going to be a vent shaft Okay, this is opposite the funnel. Well, behind the funnel. And another vent shaft as well. So that's 55, 54, 53, 53 and a half. Okay, 50. Well, actually, sorry, I'll start again. Uh, 55, 54, 53, 52 and a half. 52, which is that block right there. Okay, so I'll pull that one right across. Okay, so we need to just basically go straight across here again and here. Okay, so we're getting there. So the next one is from 49 to here basically. Okay, so 49, just find number 49. I shall put a block there that right across okay and it's the same for this side as well there we go I'll try to be as instant as possible guys because I don't know I think some people might be falling asleep now okay so this section here we just gotta put a line roughly uh, three across there. So, well, I mean, there's one, two, three there, and then it's going straight across here. Basically, what this is, this is the officer's um, lavatory, toilet again, and a bath. Okay, so that is going to be. Let's show my notes again. Yeah, it's basically the bathroom. It's a toilet and the bathroom. Okay, so from the centre here, go one, two, three, four. Okay, and it goes roughly about there. So it's a little bigger because obviously we've got to fit the bath in. Actually, no, I think it's a bit more bigger than that. We'll put it about there for now. That'll do. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So from the centre line, it's six to the right. Why are you looking at the bridge? Six to the right and three to the left. Okay. So that's where the bath will go. In fact, what I'll do now is put my officer's bath. Because they didn't have the private baths in the officer's quarters or in the passengers as well. And uh, I say the ship, even though people think the uh, the ship was big, but uh, yeah, they didn't have their own bathrooms. They had to all share. Lovely. Except for the captain, he had his own bath. All right, officers. Lavy. <laughs> right, okay, so what I can do here from this side, because this is the end of the corridor, is go three across, put a grey concrete block there, and pull that all the way to the to the wheelhouse of the bridge ship. And we're gonna work our way on the port side of the officer's quarters. There we go. Okay. So it should look like that. Oh, I forgot one thing as well. There was a room between the captain's sitting room and the wheelhouse of the bridge. So let me just get my notes again. So it's 68, 69, 70, 70. Okay. So from frame 70, you need 69 and a half, which is this one here. That block. Just pull it right across. This was the chart room, I think. Was it them chart notes? No, it's the navigation room. Yep, they used to come in through that section there. 71, 71 and a half. Yep, 
so here we go so what we're going to do now is go to frame 70 put a block halfway about there no sorry it'd be one to the left it's just after the 71 so i'll pull this one straight across yep that is correct and on the other side as well pull it straight across until you come to until you leave a gap of three for the corridor and just join it up here there you go done yep because this is how it looks there we go so it's a gap of three for the corridor and we're working our way across brilliant okay so next section now all right so i just want to double check everything before i go any further so that's one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, hang on, I'm sorry folks, give me one second, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 3, 4, 15. Right, I have gone wrong, folks. I am sorry. Right, I just want to do a quick double check. Let me go back to the Titanic here. I knew a cock up somewhere. Right. Right, so let's double check my reference. Right, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, 15 each. Let me check the other side. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, it is right. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Right, I am. It is right. It's right. I do apologise. It wouldn't be a normally junction video about making a mistake or realise it wasn't a mistake. So we're all fine. Okay, so just to reassure you all, it is fine. So going from the centre here, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so and this is one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Ah, right. Right, let's move on. Right, moving along here now. So we're going to the we have the stern, well not the stern, the back of the officer's quarters. So continue on here. This is a corridor. There's going to be another room here. So a gap of three for the corridor. One, two, three. Put a block here. And move it right across to 45. So once again, number 46, 45. Should be a block there. Yep. And pull that straight across here. This is the... This is actually the Marconi room. The wireless room. So put, put a line across here. Now this wall here, you need to go straight across, line up with this one, but line up towards the end of this one here. Okay, so let's join that up to the center there. So it looks like this. There you go. All right, next section. Hang on folks, I just want to just double check. I do doubt myself quite a lot. Because I want to get it right. <laughs> right. Okay. It's the first funnel frame. Right. Which we'll I start from the center here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I was wrong. Well, it's not a major issue. It's not a major one. 
Okay. Alright, so this side is correct. The port, uh, the starboard, uh, the port side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's this side. I've gone for over far too much. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so all we do is just put a line there and remove this section here. There we go. Move all across by one. There you go. And you got to do the same for the other side as well, folks. I do apologize. There we go. So I'll just remove all that one there. this and apologies it might be an hour long video for this there you go okay now it's right so let's just get the grey concrete move that one just pull on there I'll pull on there right okay so let's bring this all across over by one <sighs> There's a few people screaming at me now, saying, You've done it wrong! You've done it wrong! I say, I'm sorry! I'm really sorry! And just this last bit to go, and then we can crack on. Play some calming music over the video. <laughs> oh, I lost a little bit. I'll just put that there for now. Uh, there we go. Just move this section here, and then we can start again. Oh no, just to get on with it, basically. Right, sorted. Right. Okay, done. Right, Maconi room. Alright, so for the Maconi room now. Uh, frame number 45. There we go, it just pulls it right across. And they had three rooms in the Maconi room. There was actually the wireless section, there was this sleeping bit, and what they call a silent room. Funny name. But let's just do the whole room first. But obviously, this is still the same, so you just join this section up from here to here. Go. So let's make divide this room into three. Uh, oh, uh, I think it's a seven across each way. One. Let's double check. So it's three, six, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. Let's do the section three, six. Six, nine, the block there, four, four, one, two, three, four, the block there, let's add some more. No, that's it, yep, that's it, that's fine. Okay, so, looking at the starboard side, you need to create a gap of nine, this is where they slept, and then a nine, which is, you start in the center, you go four out each way. This is actually the Maconi room itself. There we go. And this will be the silent room. There we go. Right, that's that done. Right, so on to the next bit is the elevator gears, which needs no introduction. So here we're actually above the elevators. So start from this section here, gap of three, put a block here. And it goes all the way up to number 44, which is basically here, and it's a gap of three. And you join up there. There we go. And 
the other side as well it's exactly the same width so it'll be three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fifteen forty fifteen one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and put that right across there you go that's that done and you just need a gap of three here because there's obviously not going to be enough doorway to the grand staircase here so and on the other side as well one two three okay and then what you need to do is basically from this wall here put a block here and you go all the way to join up towards frame number uh, 44 so that's 44 be about here and then you go inwards this is another officer's spare room which is this room here and then from here from frame number 45 do a gap of three. One, two, three. Block there. Join that up there. And that goes all the way up to 49, 50. Yeah, 50. And find frame 50 again. Okay, so frame 50, a gap of three. Put a block there. Okay, actually, it goes right across. There's actually a doorway here that right across and join that up nicely there okay and there's actually two rooms two more officers rooms in between so I need to find frame of 47 47 there we go and just put a gap in between the two so you can sort of tell because look there's like two frames beside each other right now onto the home stretch here all right starting from here where the doorway is there is a gap up to 54 i find number 54 which is here put a line going straight across here And then we just need to split this room into two, which is very easy. We'll just put that one block there. Like I said, this is another spare officer's quarters, but this quarters is where the six officers slept. I think he was, unfortunately, he was lost in the disaster, I think. I'll find out his name. So I'll put six officer. There we go. Next room, going across. And up there is a room, it's just a remove this three here and join the bottom one up to there. That's where another doorway is. So that's between 54 and 55. It is. So we can just remove these bottom three and move them all the way up to the top. Going down, going up, going down, going up. There we go. Okay, and then here we go, final few rooms now. All right, next one is the fifth officer. Uh, okay, that is number 58. Find number 58. Now on frame 58, you just need to go to the left a bit because obviously the officers were a bit more spaced in, it, of course, were a bit spaced in from there. So that's frame 58 there, just go one into the left. And the next one is the third officer. And that is on frame 61. Let's find frame 61. There we go. Put it straight onto the frame. There you go. All right, so let me put the notes down. Put one there. Okay. Oh, not six. Fifth. Officer. And the next one third officer wakey wakey anybody still watching 
Uh, I'm sorry I'm not on this entertaining guys, like I say. Maybe a bit of a dull video, but it's what I had to build. And I want to share it with you. Okay, the next one is Frame 64. Now, I do know this guy's name is Charles Lightoller, one of my actual heroes of the actual disaster. Trade him great in the film Night to Remember, but I think they're doing quite poorly in the uh, 97 film, to be, to be fair. Second officer. And he was also involved in the, uh, if you know your history, in the Dunkirk evacuations. Okay, right, so that one's done. And now the next one is between 67 and 68. So it'll be about there. So pull that straight across. And I'll see it's the third of the first officer. As that was William Murdoch, who perished in the disaster. But debate if, if people if he jumped off the ship or took his own life really. And this next one is the chief officers. Yeah, the biggest one of the biggest quarters besides the captains. Uh, chief. So basically he was in charge of all the officers just below the captain and there you go so the next section now just to finish off is one of the most important ones okay we still need to do the pilot room which is here uh, basically it's just a line down the center actually no it's not sorry I do apologize it just begs a bit as we look at the bridge it's just a bit to the right here so it's just off center which is there and the doorway is located roughly um, well to the navigation room it'll be these three here so it'll be one two three one two three there you go and then you enter the navigation chart room well the navigation room and you get into the captains like here one two three but to get to the pilot's room it's roughly about three across one two three so I'll put on now there. Pilot quarters. There you go. Right, and just behind these two quarters, there was another vent shaft. And that's between 68 to 66. You probably saw it when I was going over to the Titanic. So that'll be about here. And then the next bit is another vent shaft. So that's between 64 to 65, which is here. So it's 64 to 60. That's, I mean, no, sorry, right, I just want to double check this because I want to get this right. So I'm, re I'm really going off a small notes here, folks. Here we go. This is one talk about this vent shaft here. Right, so there's a gap, so it's a one, and then it's in between the two. Right, I got you. Right, it's in between the two. Uh, right, let's get back over there. Flying over again. Right, so this section here. Right. Between 64 and 65, just put a block there. And it's going straight across there. And we are done. Oh, thank God for that. But we do need to do some more work now. Okay, so let me just check everything. There you go. Fly out a bit. So, this is the next stage, guys. We're going to basically remove some areas. So, which areas you're going to move is this. You're going to remove this whole section here, take it all apart, okay? Because this is where the first funnel is going to be, okay? And other areas you're going to remove is these two vent areas. So I'll, I'll just dig out the ones there, okay? And just behind it, 
check everything everyone else because I want to make sure we're getting this right. Yep, we're going to remove this section and this section. Let's check uh, 52. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but try and keep the signposts because what I mean by this is just go around it like that. And on all the greys, grey items, I just want you to get your pillar quartz and go upwards just like that for me. Okay? And also, how I do corners, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's how I like to do them. On each corner, I like to remove the block. Just makes it a bit more curved, a bit more space to work with. Like that. There you go. But obviously, when you come to cut doorways and corridors, you just remove them where the path is. There's one there. There's one there. And nope, there'll be a wall there, so we'll keep that one. Right, great. Right, so I'll do a jump cut, folks. And I'll be back in just a moment. Right, folks, so it should look like this at this moment in time, which looks like the top edge of a maze. <laughs> okay, so we still got a lot to do, so I'm just going to put one more two touches to this design, and I'm going to end the video here because the video has just gone on far too long. I'm trying to cut my video time down now, but it's just gone on too long. So pretty much my fault because I made a few mistakes, but there you go. So I do apologize, but this is what it is. Right, so to finish off with, I realized I forgot to put some of the doors in. So I'm going to go for each room to clarify each one to see how it stands. So this one is a navigation room again. Everything is fine. So like before, there would have been a gap there, but as now, just get your grey concrete and put a doorway there. Same, this is the doorway to the bridge. Well, the bridge uh, wheelhouse. Now, coming into the wheelhouse, to say this is the pilot room, the door will be allocated roughly about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in. So it'll be those three there. And it's the same for the other side as well. This other room is the chart room. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you put three blocks across there. Okay. And now coming into the chief's room, the chief's room door is located right next to the wall. So it'll be one, two, three, and you just put it, replace the grey, not those ones, <laughs> replace the grey block as well. Let's put that back in there for now. And obviously remove the doorway. Okay, so that's that one done. Now going on to uh, first officer. Hey, it's exactly the same, it's right next to the door, right next to the wall. So that one there. And just remove those there. There you go. I say in the next video, I will be doing the windows and the doors. Okay, second officer's room. Uh, once again, it's right next to the wall. Remove all that. Okay, well, what I'll do, folks, to speed up the video, I'll just put the grey concrete down so you guys can take it from there. Okay, so let's just get rid of all that for the time being. So that's the second officer's done. Third officer, once again. This room here is the third officer's room. It's just right next to the wall again. So I'll leave it there. And then for the fifth officer, his door is actually on the right here. Uh, to the corridor, towards the door. To the boat deck. So it's roughly about two doors in. Two blocks in. So one, two, three. And so you just remove all this. One, two, three. There we go. So I could say doorways will always be three blocks wide right now on to the sixth officer his doorway is exactly opposite the, uh, the fifth officer so one two three remove all of these one two three oh, I'll get rid of all them right moving backwards uh, there's a spare room here uh, so six room yes yeah, spare room here so the doorway is already located there there so I'll be going straight across what this room was uh, but it does seem to connect to all uh, there's actually a room next here actually we missed one room out actually so it goes on it's actually a toilet <laughs> a spare toilet so it comes <coughs> on frame 49 so I'll go right across here also I missed one out as I say quickly glancing at my plans 
So this is a toilet room. Let's get that done. So yeah, I do apologise for the mistakes. Like I say, I'm only human. Not an engineer or anything like that. I just enjoy this ship very much and Minecraft. Right, so the doorway will be located here. There you go. I'll just put it. So I'll just leave it on top there for now. You just need to get some ready on some of those blocks. Right, the next one is is actually a bathroom. So it's these three here. Right next to the wall. Just look that down like that. Same as below. One, two, three. There you go. Right, next one is a spare room, which is here. Quite a big room, actually. Okay, and the doorway is located between here. So it's four and four, so it's right in the center. Okay, now moving across to this room here, which is another spare officer's room. It's three in, so it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so I'll say we just remove all those. I'll do that in the next jump cut. Now here is the entrance to the staircase. And you can put the wall in there, because obviously I'm going to fill, put a wall here for the staircase, but I should say that'll be in, our, in the next video. Or so the video after that. Uh, so this is the elevator and gear room. Now the doorway for there is actually located here. So it'll be one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Right, now on to this room here, which is another spare officer's room, and the doorway is located near the grand staircase door. Oh, obviously we've got to need to do this grand staircase door there as well. So it'll be about, I'm checking plans here, it'll be about three in. One, two, three. One, two, three. And just place those. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next room, which is a, another officer's quarters. Uh, so it's roughly about... Uh, it's in the middle of this to the two frames here. So it's one, two, three. So two to the right and four to the left. So you just align with the corridor just there. Now the next one. Okay, and this is another spare officer's room and it's exactly the same as the previous one. So two in and with those three there. There we go. Now this is the Marconi room. Now I've already put the entrance in the middle of the room. It's about one in, and then you move those three. That's the silent room, but I've got to do the entrance to the bedroom. Now the bedroom is just this wall here. Take away these three blocks. One, two, three. Okay, I hope my instructions are quite clear because I do struggle to explain things. But I do the best as I can. But as I say, if you want to pause or rewatch the videos, like I say, I'll do these angles here if you want to pause. You know, so you get a good idea of it. Uh, so the next one here is this room here, which once again, I have forgotten to do the inside, but I say I'll do that for the jump cut, but I'll just put the doorways in for now. This is another bathroom or toilet room. So as I say, the door, the inner frame is here. So it'll be right one in, so I'll be there. So it's one, two, three, move all these go upwards okay so that's the entrance to the bathroom so they'll be coming in this way and say oh look there's the uh, the bathroom so the bathroom entrance is roughly about here so it's about one in from this side sorry three in from this side so it'll be one two three so it'll be those three there and so like I say I'll do from the top as well so the numbers get confused one two three uh, one two two three let's get that right okay and so it'll be one two three okay that's the entrance to the bath okay so on this one here this room here is actually a steward room so it must be a steward for the officers and his entrance or she would have been about what well, must be he really wasn't it uh one two three so it'll be one two three okay so let's move all them one two three Okay, now the room behind it, okay, uh, that room is done, this room here is the pantry, so it'll just be those three right next to the wall, 
So it's in line with this corridor again. So I'm just move that. One, two, three. Okay. Now this is the officer's smoke room. There's actually a doorway here that takes into the pantry. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So I just move a couple of them. I'll do it in the jump cut. And the actual entrance is located here. It'll be roughly about one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now I was, I'm going to state this now, folks. Uh, like I say, you can design the rooms yourself in any style you want. I'm just giving you the dimensions of the size of the rooms and how I've done it. But if you want to do it any style you like, go straight ahead. Okay, so the next room on this is the fourth officer's quarters next to the captain's uh, bathroom. And his entrance is roughly about it's the doorway leading outwards and it's three along. So it's three, one, two, three. Put it down there. Okay, there we go. So that's for the fourth officer. Now the captain's, this is the captain's bathroom. He did have doorway here so that's one two three so that's two in from the wall so it goes one two three okay get rid of those one two three get rid of them okay and as I say this is the captain's bedroom and he had an open doorway going straight across into his captain's sitting room here and we we'll come full circle now. So that is pretty much every room covered for doorways. So what you need to do now is the final stage is get your light grey concrete and replace every single top block except for the grey ones here. Also, you are make, make sure you take your doorways out here. And in the next video we'll be doing the top frame. But as for now, just replace every top block. So basically you're doing bottom block one two three four five six seven high and then a gray block okay so i will do a jump and also for the funnels and the shafts here obviously there'll be a wall here but for now you can just leave these walls exactly like this because i say we need to do the shaft as well um the uh, the vent shafts and the shape of the funnel as well so we could just leave these all blank for now and obviously, but I say, don't forget to do a grey concrete on the top. So I will do one more quick jump cut, folks. I will do a quick review at the end in a moment. Actually, sorry, before I do that, I just realised I made a mistake. <laughs> uh, again, just get rid of that. Replace the top block. So I don't leave anybody left in the lurch. Everything will be explained. Okay, so I'll be back once again. And that is completed now, folks. As you can see, we've now completed the interiors of the officers' quarters as well as the start of the first funnel as well as the vent shafts as well. And this is how it should look. So apologies if the videos, once again, has been too long. I am trying to get it down, but also I will have to cut it in two parts because it's just simply going on too long. So in the next part, we'll be doing the windows, we'll be doing the upper frame and the upper deck, and as well, oh, I'll include the doors as well. So for me, Normandy Junction, this has been a pl another pleasure of doing this part for you. Um, if you like what you see, consider uh, giving a like and a share. And anybody new joining the channel, as well as my current subscribers, uh, if you'd like to subscribe as well, that would help the channel a big help out. But I just want to say thank you for all who have joined. I am enjoying doing this, but like I say, me being a full-time worker, I am doing this in my spare time. So I'll get the videos out when I can, folks. But like I say, I will. the next video will be continuing on with the officers' quarters. So as for me, Normandy Junction, I bid you all a very fun well farewell and stay safe and i'll see you all in the next one good night and goodbye